In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our foundational research paper published in fall 2024 by the CMT Association titled Frequency of Structures, Length, and Depth of Waves Observed in a Range of Markets Using the Elliott Wave Theory of Market Analysis. This paper is available to the public on the CMT website and also available on our website pureelliotwave.com. The purpose of this paper was to extract as much data as we could from the markets analyze it with Elliott Wave Theory, and then see if we could establish some normal distributions and frequencies for every corrective structure and every wave ratio so we could predict prices better moving forward. Now this isn't the first time that Elliott Wave Theory has been studied in a quantitative capacity. We've highlighted three other research papers, the first by Volna et al, which used artificial neural networks to recognize the Elliott Wave pattern of motive and corrective structures in the major trend, which was able to recognize it, noting that it was feasible and recognizable with artificial neural networks. Itsalicus et al. also use neurofuzzy systems, which are a neural network designed to imitate the human brain and are especially good at pattern recognition. They gave this neural network Elliott Wave rules and tested stock data for the National Bank of Greece over 400 trading days. Their trading system only took long positions, and while stocks declined by 60.9%, their return was 6.79% and included a hit rate of 58. 75, showing the benefit of Elliott Wave patterns in the market, utilizing technology to recognize these patterns formed by Elliott Wave rules. And lastly, Jerusik et al. also programmed Elliott Wave rules into a neural network trading system that was trained on Forex pairs. They only traded price movements that had a 90% or greater similarity to Elliott Wave structures, and they tested it against the control that did not use Elliott Wave rules. So without using Elliott Wave rules, their trades yielded an average of $1.1 per trade, where a system that used Elliott Wave rules generated $1.5 five dollars per trade and using Elliott Wave increased the predictive value of these trades by 39 percent. These papers show that there is a valid profitable factor to following Elliott Wave rules and we sought to dig deeper into this with our own research paper outlined today. All of our Elliott Wave counts that were studied here were checked by multiple analysts and also the Motive Wave software which ensures that all wave counts meet Elliott Wave rules as additional safeguards. Our data consisted of two of each type of market indices, commodities, forex pairs, and cryptocurrencies. We analyzed first the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, the WTI crude oil, gold, euro, US dollar, US dollar Japanese yen, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. We also recorded every single corrective structure that was noted to give us a frequency of corrective structures in waves 2, 4, A, B, and then W and Y positions. Then we could have motive structures in 1, 3, 5, A, and C as an impulse or diagonal. And additionally, we measured ratios between the waves because every wave at different degree could have different degrees of price and movement. Instead, we use the ratios between waves. For instance, how much does wave two retrace versus wave one? How far does wave three go in relation to wave one? And this is done to test core assumptions made by Frost and Prechter when writing the Elliott Wave Principle. We tested, will wave one most commonly subdivide as an impulse? Will wave two most commonly subdivide as a zigzag? This is noted in the book, The Elliott Wave Principle. Wave three will most commonly be 1.618, the length of wave one. We tested that as well. We also tested that wave four will most commonly subdivide as a flat triangle or combination. Wave 5 will most commonly subdivide as an impulse, and Wave 5 will most commonly exhibit an equal length to Wave 1. Is that true? We'll find out in just a moment. 
other core assumptions that we were looking to test was the probability of each corrective structure, the probability of each motive structure, the most likely length of waves 3, 5, and C to previous waves, so we could predict future price movements, and the most likely depth of corrections in wave 2, 4, and B to prior waves of the same degree, so how deep is a correction likely to go in that counter trend movement? It took just under a year to collect all the data from all eight of the markets. This yielded over 8,400 waves that were measured, and from those 8,400 waves, we had over 56,000 ratios of price movements within the Elliott Wave structure. Thereafter, after the data was gathered, it took another few months to run all of that data through our Econometrics platform, Stata. All of the results were then cataloged into the research paper in summary tables showing eight columns for the eight separate markets and one additional for all of the data combined. The different rows that you're seeing are different ratios between waves or the total depth or orthodox depth between waves. Additionally, the tables are split. One set of tables shows the mean ratios of price movement, while the other set of tables shows the 95% confidence intervals, which we use for our targets at Pure Elliott Wave in our analysis every day. The reason that we use the 95% confidence interval instead of the mean data is because a lot of these ratios can be skewed one way or the other. For example, on this histogram pictured here, the top chart shows the ratio of wave 3 to 1 in the gold market. There is a long tail to the right showing skewed data. In order to control for this, we apply a logarithmic function, which creates a normal distribution as shown in the lower chart. We then grab a 95% confidence interval from the transformed data and then take the anti-log to create a reliable 95% confidence interval that can be used in the market during your day-to-day -day analysis. Our results show very clear, concise, normal distributions across the markets. And the reason that these normal distributions or that really good bell-shaped curve is important for these results is that it gives your analysis using Elliott Wave Theory predictive power. That means if wave one is over, you have a really good chance of knowing where wave two could end. If wave two is over, you could predict where wave three could go. If wave three is over, we have a ratio for wave four, and when wave four is over, then we have a very good ratio for wave five moving up, giving our analysis excellent, excellent predictive power utilizing some of these statistics today. Also included in the paper is this frequency of structures in each wave position for every market combined. You can see that in wave one, three, and five, that impulse waves are by far the most common in those positions. And for our own analysis at Pure Elliott Wave, we've broken this up into each market individually and use those in our analysis every day. Towards the end of the paper, we run hypothesis testing on all of the Elliott Wave assumptions mentioned at the beginning of the paper. To start off with, the ratio of wave 2 to 1 was assumed to be 0.618. That was rejected, and instead, our research indicates a ratio of 0.600. Next, the ratio of 3 to 1 in an impulse is expected to be 1.618, according to Frost and Prechter. Instead, our research indicates a ratio of 1.889 to 1.967 across all markets. Next, the ratio of 4 to 3 is assumed to be 0.382, and we also reject that. We found a significant ratio of 0.320 to 0.329, suggesting a strong correlation of price to this range in wave 4 positions. Next, the assumption was previously that wave 5 to 1 would be equal. We instead show a mean ratio of 1.1, and we reject that equality. So we found 1.1 to be a better ratio for 5 to 1. Next, the ratio of C to wave A is assumed to be 1. We found that to be true, as our ratios indicate wave 
C to A is usually 0.991 to 1.032. In conclusion, this paper shows that Elliott Wave Theory, when meeting all Elliott Wave rules, can provide reliable price targets for a range of different markets. It's this exact data that we use at Pure Elliott Wave to make high probability price predictions that you see here every week. Click below to visit pureelliottwave.com and see our analysis and Elliott Wave courses. And of course, we'll have the research paper linked below as well.